Uh, today's video will be kind of an intro. We're gonna cover basics, okay? And on the upcoming videos, we're gonna expand and take more practical scenarios and more complex um, examples. All right, so first let's define the file format. So basically Android applications mostly come in a p k format that's the format of most android applications and apk is basically a zip file if you try to unzip the file using unzip okay it will extract the contents of the file but basically it's very recommended that you use um, reverse engineering tools all the appropriate reverse engineering tools which we're going to cover uh, in a bit that are used to um, reverse engineer an Android APK file. So that's the first thing to know about Android applications is that the file format is APK. So why do we do Android reverse engineering? So basically first, Android reverse engineering is the process of decompiling the application. So say the application name is, could be facebook.apk, right? So when we reverse engineer the app, it is the same process when we reverse engineer um, an executable file or when we reverse engineer any other file, whether this file was built to work on Windows, Linux, Mac, or any other system. So it's the same process, reverse engineering. We are actually decompiling and extracting the source code of the APK. So here, through reverse engineering, we extract the source code of the file. Now, what are the objectives of reverse engineering and APK? It is the same objectives when you reverse engineer uh, an executable file that works on Windows or any um, maybe binary file that works on Linux. The objectives are the same. So let's do a rewind okay and talk about the objectives so the first objective of reverse engineering any executable or any binary file including an android application is first extracting secrets so what are the typical secrets that we look to extract from applications as you know guys we want to extract api keys Another thing people uh, um, or engineers look to extract is license keys. So licenses are also targets when you reverse engineer uh, you know, a file. So license keys and again, passwords. Passwords could be found inside um, applications, especially Android APKs. Other thing is IP addresses, um, hashes. So we look to extract, the first objective is extracting secrets. Now the other objective of analyzing APK files is to verify whether it is malicious or not. So here we do a security check. In security check, we come with a result or we come, we come with a, an outcome. The outcome is whether the APK file is malicious or P9. These are the most or the two common most objectives when reverse engineering an Android application. Okay, key files. So when we analyze an Android application, where to start um, analyzing or where to start the analysis? There are some files such as the main activity which we will uh, look into in a bit in the current scenario. Other than main activity, we have main function. Another uh, file is the Android manifests. It comes with an XML format and we have assets. Typically the assets is a directory that you will get once you extract the apk file 
these are key files and directories where you could start your analysis so basically the main activity and the main function contains the main um, code okay it's very much similar to um, the main function in C plus the manifest is an XML file it contains other attributes and the assets can may contain some critical files such as bundle so when you find bundle a file with the extension bundle such as the file that we will take uh, or we will analyze in this video this could indicate that the application or the APK was built using React Native so basically there are many frameworks to build applications one of them is React Native okay now let's talk about the tools used to um, analyze APK files one of the most popular tools is first, so here we have we're analyzing the tools, is APK tool. So APK tool is a tool that is used to decompile APK files. And the other one is JADEX. JADEX is a graphical uh, user interface. And we have Ghidra. Ghidra is used to analyze um, and, and reverse engineer other files such as Windows and files built on Windows and Linux and we have Radar 2 okay now let's switch the practical scenario and take an example the given scenario I have an APK file named apprelease.apk this is the Android application or the sample Android application we're gonna analyze so as said earlier, there are many tools to start the reverse engineering process. We're going to start with a very popular command line tool called APK tool. You can install APK tool by using sudo apt get install APK tool. Te technically, I have the tool installed, so uh, there is nothing to show here. That's how you install the tool. Now, if you want to start using the tool, you can use apk tool d to decompile app release. So this will decompile the file and extract the contents. After waiting for a bit, we're gonna see that there is a new directory created. The new directory is app release. You can open the file, a directory, and we can see the uh, files used to build the binary. As you can see, we have the manifest that we talked about earlier. You copy the manifest, it will open using uh, any text editor you have. So it uses the browser, and we can see many attributes related to the file. Now, the most importantly, during this scenario, we have the assets. Under the assets, we can see there is a file named and index android.bundle. Now, the presence of a file with an extension bundle, okay. It means that the Android application was built using React Native. So React Native, as said earlier, is a framework used to build applications for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android. Once we see bundle, we can start searching for secrets. Okay, now the secrets we have talked about is or the secrets in compass, API keys, license keys, password, API IP hashes. It depends on the objectives of the analysis. If you don't like to analyze the tools or if you would like a GUI interface, we can use JADEX. Again, JADEX can be installed using sudo apt get install JADEX. Okay, once you do that, it will be installed and you can start JADEX using the command line using uh, or by typing jadex gui this will bring up the gui interface and here we can open the file or navigate to the file the file name is apk release and on the left hand side we can see the breakdown of the contents now most uh, interestingly we have under the resources the extracted content we saw earlier when we used uh, the uh, other tool which was APK tool. Now under uh, files or under source code here, we can see the, the source code files. Most importantly under .com, 
we can expand awesome project and we have the main activity and the main application it's very important to analyze these two files uh, because they represent the uh, logic of the code so if we when, we when we go to main activity we can see that it is importing content from the react activity here as you can see react activity is used throughout the main code here again with the imports basically facebook.com react instance manager the application many libraries from the react which is also another indication that the app or the application was built using react native determining the framework used to build the application is of utmost importance uh, for understanding the logic of the code and to understand how to navigate further through the other files so we have the main activity and the main application once we know that it is react we can start looking for the file that contains the assets so let's assume that our objective is to look for secrets here once we know from the main activity and the main application that it was built using react we're going to start looking for the dot bundle file normally dot bundle files are stored under the assets so we locate the resources directory under the resources we have the assets directory under the assets we have a file named index android bundle now why do we seek to get access or to read the contents of this file because again it contains it or it may contain uh, hard-coded credentials so if we search for maybe um, hash so here we have one match but looks like this match doesn't contain any uh, intricate value here can keep looking so we have here five results Now for the sake of this scenario, we can use another keyword just as debug. We can also look for passwords by using keywords such as pass or password. But for this scenario, we're not going to find any matches because I know the application. As you can see, there are um, matches for the word password, but you have to keep looking to find a result so one of the keywords one of the other keywords we can use is the keyword key make because this keyword may contain some um, sought after values alternatively you can use the you can use command line tools to locate such files so knowing that the application was built using react native we can start looking for this uh, bundle file or the uh, any file that comes with bundle extension dot bundle we can use um, uh, find the find command so under the current working directory we're looking for uh, dash type file and then we're gonna use pipe and use grip bundle as you can see we have two matches or more than one match but we are interested only in the first one the first one is a file the same file we have located earlier now we can go ahead and open the file using any text editor such as maybe kate or qwrite or kwrite and we can start looking for the strings that i've talked about earlier we can start with debug for this file if you scroll at the end there is a value that I suspect is important at the very end of the file there is a hash I guess let's keep scrolling at the end of the file let's scroll down yes and here as you can see the debug okay has or corresponds to what looks like a page 64 value this page 64, 64 can be decoded to see what is the actual plain text value. It could be a password, it could be a license key. And then that's how, um, you know, paid software are 
forfeited, you know, by just decompiling the source code and looking for such values. So that was the first part of Android reverse engineering. I hope you guys liked it and I'm going to see you later.